She knows it's lunchtime. Some Osaka grill. She loves this stuff. Teriyaki chicken. Some broccoli and cabbage. She loves this stuff. Every Monday we have lunch with Opa. We get Osaka grill. Our friends Hazel and Raymond take good care of us. Coconut knows she's in for a treat. I walk through the door and she can smell it. <laughs> and she walks behind me and just sits and waits while I portion out the plates. Opa and I get spicy chicken and vegetables and she gets teriyaki chicken and vegetables because she can't have spicy food. So she gets good food, really good food. It's probably too big a bite. And she is so gentle when you hand her a treat she won't take your fingers off she's very careful to try to get the treat and not touch your fingers with her teeth and she that's what made me think I bet she could eat off a fork no problem and she did absolutely no problem whatsoever she never clamped down on the tines she would put her, her teeth over whatever was on the fork and very gently pull it. You could feel the vibration of the muscles as she just tried really gently to pull it away from the fork to not damage anything. She didn't want to hurt the fork. That's so interesting. She's just that gentle. I'm not a dog person and I guess if I was going to start with a dog, that's the one to start with. She's been very gentle and she's been a good teacher. I'm still not convinced that dogs are smart. <laughs> Cats are smart. Dogs are just interesting. I don't know. Very needy. Yeah, look at this. I could never do this with a cat.